Okay, let's look at homework problem 12.34 of the textbook, but we're not going to use the um, MFD method that they mentioned in 12.6. We're going to do it by our factoring method. And so for this problem, H of S is... Okay, so here is our H of S. We have three of our terms that need partial fraction expansion. I think I'm going to assume that you know how to do partial fraction expansion, so we'll get our H of S expanded form here. Okay, so here's our expanded form of our h of s, and now we want to factor this. So we'll notice how many terms we have. We'll have s plus 1 squared term, s plus 1 term, s plus 2 terms, s plus 3, and s plus 5. So we have quite a few um, eigenvalues for this system. Let's go ahead and write out, we'll have something s plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we need to fill in these two by two matrices here with the components. And let's look at s plus one squared. There's only one s plus one squared in the whole thing, so we'll have a one half, zero everywhere else. S plus one is in three positions. We'll have a one fourth, negative one fourth, a two, and nothing there. S plus two only shows up here, so we'll have a negative one third, lower right, nothing else. Um, s plus three up here nowhere else, and s plus 5 is on those two right-hand side ones. Okay, now we're going to factor it out. Well, we need to look at the ranks of these. The rank of our, of our well, rank of all of them are 1, except for this one has a rank of 2. So rank equals 1, and this one has two columns that are not, that are independent, so rank is 2. So again, we'll have to write out our form for the factoring. All of them will just have one factor, except for this one we'll have two. Okay, so we have our empty factors here. Single term, single set of factors for s plus one, s plus two, I'm sorry, s plus one squared, s plus two, s plus three, s plus five, and then two factors for the s plus one term. Okay, and let's just, um, make our B matrix look nice and neat. And so we'll make our, our rows ones and zeros and we'll fill in what needs to be there for the columns. So if we look at our first one, we need a one half here, so we need a one zero kind of thing because we have something in the first column and the something is a half on the top, so we'll do something like that. It gives us our first one. <coughs> Let's go ahead and do our S plus two other ones that are just one term each. Um, we have 0, 1 since our element shows in the second column, and then we'll have a 0, negative 1 third to make it be on the bottom. This one is on the top, and it's on the first column. And then these two are both on um, the second column, and put in their values here. Okay, and now the double term here. The double term is what's going to give us lots of, we'll make this problem interesting, I guess. So let's just do the first column first, 1, 0, and that has a 1 fourth and a 2. The second column, 0, 1, has just the negative 1 fourth on the top, a 0 down here. So that gives us our factors. All right. Now let's look at how we can... Let's look at this a little bit to figure out what our A matrix looks like in the Jordan form. We have S plus 1 squared and S plus 1 terms here, and we have two factors in our S plus 1. So what this tells us then for our, for our Jordan form is that we'll have at least one Jordan block of order 2, one 2 by 2 block, okay? That's what this says, so we have to have one 2 by 2 block. And over here we also have to have two blocks that are at least 1 by 1. Okay, so one of these terms can go in with this 2 by 2, and the other one will have to form another separate 1 by 1. And since we have these two have the same B element, we will group these two together to make one Jordan block, and this one, this term, will go to make its own separate Jordan block, since, since the B's match. Something, hopefully something will match, and so we have B's matching here the way we did it, so we'll go ahead and build it that way. So let's see... 
how we can do this. Well, um, let's make our A matrix first. Going to be kind of a big one. So we're going to have a two by two Jordan block and then a one by one Jordan block for the negative one eigenvalue and then we're going to have a negative two eigenvalue and a negative three eigenvalue and a negative five eigenvalue. So we'll have something like this. Negative one, one. This is our double second order Jordan block and then another negative one and then for this negative two, negative three, negative five and then all these will be zero on the off diagonal. Okay. For our B matrix, we're going to have the 2 by 2, a 1 by 1, and then we're going to have the three single ones. Okay, so we said we're going to group these two terms to make our Jordan block. They have the same B, so we put that at the bottom. The first one will be a 0, and then we're going to have a common factor is the 1, 0, so we'll put that down here. Okay, so we've got these two together, instead of repeating them, you just put a zero on the top and this down here and that will give us um, the form we need. And then our second um, first order negative one block for B would be zero one. S plus two has a zero one. Our S plus three has a one zero. And our S plus five has a zero one. Okay. For our C corresponding one then we have to put them in the same order that we chose before so we'll have a one half zero a one fourth two for our two by two Jordan block our our next Jordan block um, is a negative one fourth zero for negative two we have zero and negative one third negative three we have negative one fourth zero for negative five we have five fourths four thirds and we had no D terms in this one again. All right, so we've built our matrices by looking at our factors, grouping common eigen, like the negative one eigenvalue, grouping them into um, things that had a common factor for the B, and then building our matrices.